Good morning, and thank you, Chairman Kesto and distinguished members for taking up this bill, um, uh, my bill, House Bill 6515. I am State Representative Leslie Love from the illustrious 10th House District, and um, this bill is known as the Raise the Age Advisory Committee Bill, and it's a part of the larger Raise the Age package of bills. So in a broad perspective, um, this legislation has four sections. Um, the part that defines the uh, committee and what it's to accomplish, the committee's task, a deadline in which they should complete those tasks, and um, the composition of the committee. So let me explain that in further detail. What the bill proposes to accomplish is the creation of the Raise the Age Advisory Committee within the State Court Administrative Office. And it is charged to complete four principal functions. One, to develop recommendations for the implementation of legislation regarding individuals who are 17 years of age to be treated as juveniles for purposes of pro prosecution rather than as adults to provide cost estimates of capital operating and staffing for implementation of legislation that increases the age of criminal um, prosecution from 17 to 18, and provide third, to provide legislative, administrative, and funding recommendations for developing a permanent funding mechanism necessary to implement said legislation, and fourth, to provide a data assessment of the number of individuals who are 17 who are projected to enter the juvenile justice system, then to further organize that by county, include offense types, and do an assessment of detention facility um, capabilities and utilization. The second part is the committee task. The committee task is, the committee is tasked with making recommendations that shall include the development of the following six detailed plans. One, a process to develop and implement a centralized juvenile justice data sharing system that will collect data from every county in the state of Michigan. Two, um, to provide recommendations for the use of evidence-based risk and needs assessment tools. Three, to provide recommendations for training judges, administrators, and other juvenile justice stakeholders on things such as risk and need assessment tools for individualized treatment, use of trauma-informed programming, and expansion of restorative practice options. Fourth is to provide recommendations for expanding diversion options. And fifth, assessment on the projected need for juvenile det detention beds and any modifications needed to, ex um, to accept 17-year-olds in residential facilities. And sixth, and finally, to um, uh, provide a racial impact study of raising the age of juvenile um, jurisdictions to 17-year-olds. Uh, the third portion of this is the deadlines. It, so it outlines when these tasks should be completed. And, and then it covers everything from when the appointment should be completed, um, when the initial meetings would happen, when interim meetings, interim reports will take place, the initial report to the final report to finally the termination and resolution of the committee altogether. And then lastly, the fourth part of this um, defines the composition of the committee, which is a 21-member um, committee of a well-diversified group of stakeholders. I won't read all 21 of those. You probably have that in your bill in your analysis. But just to emphasize the, how diverse the stakeholders are that's a part of this group, I just wanted to just, just mention a few of them, um, like the, de the Deputy Director for Behavioral Health and Developmental Disability in, within the Department of a DHHS, superintendent of public instruction, a juvenile court administrator, one prosecuting attorney, um, a, a victim, one person from the Victim Advocacy Committee, the director of Department of Corrections, an individual who was in the juvenile justice system as an offender, a parent of a child that's currently in the system, um, a, appointment from the judge of the Michigan Probate Court, from Michigan Judges Association, um, and a rep from the Michigan Juvie Detention Association. So in conclusion, the bill, this bill was developed as a result of one of the recommendations made by the Raise the Age work group with the purpose of conducting a thorough assessment of RTA legislation in order to provide comprehensive recommendations to adequately and sustainably monitor and support Raise the Age legislation and its funding. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. so much. Chair. Thank you.